everyone, I am Vidhi and welcome to my channel Molding Minds. Today in this video, we will be discussing about 5 tips and tricks that will make your experience of Zoom teaching amazing. Trust me. So this is how my Zoom classroom looks like. Uh, first tip with which we are going to start is about lesson planning. It is, same, uh, it is exactly the same as the lesson planning which you do for your physical classroom. But here in Zoom, uh, it has to be very much time bound, right? Uh, because what happens, uh, most of us are using the free trial option of uh, Zoom which gives us 40 minutes of meetings, right? So, uh, it is very important to have a fruitful class at the end of the session you feel satisfied that okay, whatever I had decided I have completed that much to so divide the class, uh, whole content into proper timing. The first is, I have, when I have 40 minutes class, I know that in the first 5 minutes uh, first five minutes will be used uh, in uh, logging in. Everybody will join the meeting, log in. Okay, so first five minutes will go like this. Next five minutes will be used for uh, taking attendance first thing. Next is uh, discussing any doubts regarding the homework which you gave in the last class. If some of the children are having any doubts, they could not finish the homework, all those discussions. So first ten minutes of your class, you have to think that will go like this one. Fine. And I always believe if you have to take a 40 minutes class, the content should not exceed 20 to 25 minutes. Keep your content, new content which you want to give in that particular class to 20 to 25 minutes only. Fine. So next 20 minutes will go in teaching like this. Then last 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes can go in uh, discussing the content which you have taught today. Any doubts related to it, any questions you want to ask your students related to that it can be used in that and then last two minutes give them some homework what will happen is they are sitting at home they won't uh, they have so many things to do right now TV games this and that but just a small homework which will take five ten minutes just give it to them so that they can just revise whatever is being taught today it can be reading it can be some activity with the parents something like that can be done so this was about the lesson planning the second most important tip is audio and video settings. Right? Uh, see, as soon as we start the class, I do a very enthusiastic good morning, everyone. And all my students start coming. Oh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. It becomes so noisy at, at first only. Right? So as soon as I start the class, I, I try to mute. I could try to use the option which is called mute all. Okay, so it is there in the security settings in the dark part of your Zoom. So just go there and mute all, so that all your participants will be mute and you can teach them. Because uh, when there are 30, 40 students in a class, if they don't mute, all the sound from their background will come and it will distract you while teaching. Okay? And uh, as you can see, I'm using this earphone right now. So uh, I'm teaching, I'm recording this class using a laptop. So what happens, our devices are made in such a way to uh, grasp sound from everywhere from all the corners of the room or the So uh, when I'm teaching on a class like this, I don't want any other sound to come in my class. So if I use earphone, it, it, uh, the, all the noise and the voice would be uh, coming from me only. Those with distractions will not distract the class. Fine, so that is something uh, about the audio. Next is about the video. Some students and some teachers are fine with keeping their videos off. Okay. But I do not prefer it personally. You should insist on keep on um, all for uh, keeping the videos on for all your students, right? Agar wo log apne video off rakte hain, you do not know what they are doing at that point of time. Are they understanding? Are they with you? They might go away somewhere to drink water, do some nasta, washroom, anywhere. So I insist, then tell them to uh, keep their videos on. Fine. This was about the second tip. Third and the most important thing is screen sharing. It's the, it is my personal favorite uh, portion of this whole Zoom thing. So what happens, uh, but, uh, there is, there are, like I said before, that in a 20 to 25 minutes of your content sharing, throughout the 40 minutes, if children see me talking, 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 so it will not be that interesting session when they will get bored at some point of time. So it is always a better idea to add some audio visual effects in your teaching. 
right? So there is a screen share green colored button at the bottom of this screen. You just have to press it. और आप जब भी जूम मीटिंग शुरू करेंगे उससे पहले यू ओपन ऑल द रिसोर्सेज विच यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर ठीक है जैसे मुझे टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम टीचिंग इन सी बी एस ई स्कूल वी आर यूजिंग एन सी आर टी बुक्स ऑल एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक्स सॉफ्ट कॉपीज आर अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन यू जस्ट सिंपली हैव टू डाउनलोड दिस फाइन सो इफ आई हैव अ कॉपी ऑफ माई टेक्सट बुक डाउनलोडेड विद मी आई कैन जस्ट शेयर इट ऑन माई स्क्रीन लाइक दिस एंड माई स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू सी दिस uh textbook also along i can just read out from a textbook and i can explain along with it right so this was about textbook then uh i specifically i am teaching science fine so i i miss taking my students to science class because every week once or twice we go to the lab and we see things and they observe experiments so i don't want my students to miss out on that so what i can do here is i can just uh, open uh, the particular reaction or something which i want to show them in youtube first and then minimize it before starting my uh, you, uh, this session now and then in the screen share option there is an uh, one more option at the bottom it is written optimize screen for video clip once you click that then only the sound of your video will be clear to your students otherwise not and i can simply open that page which i have had minimized okay and then i can go like this and my students can have this kind of like uh, uh, feeling of being in the lab only and i have muted the uh, audio of this video so that i can speak in the background that what all things are happening because i am teaching them i don't want somebody else from the video to teach me students in my life that's fine So I keep on teaching. I take the uh, copper sulfate and the test tube, and then we put the uh, iron nail inside it, and then like that, uh, we can just go go with the whole experiment. You can show like this. You have to just uh, choose your resources wisely. Otherwise, everything is available on it. Okay. So this was about screen sharing. Next fourth tip, which I'm going to share, is about the. Uh, wide code which you can create at home see many teachers are complaining that we are not able to teach maths or some topics of science also without using the wide code or the black board which we used to use in the school so uske liye bhi there is an option okay right? what uh, what option i have thought is like i have this spiral binding coil with me theek hai to main ke uske upar ek this plastic layer this is there is a this is a smooth plastic layer What I can do is I can just simply write whatever I want to write and show it to my kids like this. A square plus B square equals C square, and then I can show them this question. They can just understand. Then easily it is you can write anything and show it to them like this. Right? Okay. So this can work as your blackboard or your whiteboard at your school, which you use to use. Use it up to your computer. And I have taken a small piece of sponge to just rub it. It can be easily done. आसानी से मिट जाएगा अगेन ऑल्सो यू कैन सो एनी प्लास्टिक शीट दिस स्पाइरल बाइंडिंग आई हैड एट माय होम सो आई कैन यूज इट लाइक दिस ठीक है इसके पीछे का पोर्शन ब्लू है ब्लू पे भी आई कैन राइट विद ब्लैक मार्कर दैट आल्सो लुक्स ठीक है सो दिस पे यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन वाइट बोर्ड ब्लू बोर्ड एट होम ठीक है एंड इट वर्क्स रियली इन अ ग्रेट वे We are in a situation of an emergency, sudden emergence of, into online teaching due to this COVID-19. So we have to adjust with all these things. It is just that we have to find a suitable idea for us. Uh, one more option you can do is you can have if you have a black chart paper at home, black or maroon or any dark chart paper at home, you can just stick it at the wall at the back side where you are sitting, and then with chalk you can write on it. That is also an idea. And now fifth and the last tip is. which i uh, really uh, would like to uh, like to follow is disable the chat option in zoom because in the primary kids this won't be a problem but believe me from 6 to 10 and above all those children if and they see their friends after a long time they want to chat with them and uh, this will be a great distraction in your class so it's better that uh, we go to the settings and choose chat disable chat ko disable kar dijiye so that nobody can chat uh, there is one option chat with only with host so if they are not able to listen to your voice there is some audio issue they can talk to you they can talk to host but they cannot talk to anyone else in the meeting so 
that can be done and do not share your meeting id anywhere on the social media because uh, nowadays you are listening to so many things which are going on ke zoom mein to kuch leak ho jata hai unwanted person enter your meeting all those things happen so keep waiting rooms in your classes and do not share your uh, meeting id and password with anyone right uh, that's it for today and you can also record uh, your videos like this on zoom and then you can send out to your students so that they can uh, refer it later on also so this is a great application according to me and I'm, i really enjoy teaching on it so that's all for today uh, if you if you like my efforts and all those things please like share and subscribe my videos uh, this will motivate me to make better content in more videos ahead right thank you i'll see you in the next video